Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. You need to adjust. Well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country. The black community to realize that the that black people are hurting Asians and they need to speak out of, uh, in their own community. The Florida woman who allegedly hurled xenophobic remarks and pepper sprayed four Asian women in Manhattan last month is set to be sprung from jail after prosecutors agreed to scrap her $20,000 bail. Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Michelle Rodney on Wednesday approved a new bail application proposed by the district attorney's office and defense attorney for Madeline Parker that would see the alleged hate monger freed from supervised release. Parker, age 47, of Merritt Island, Florida, was caught on video on June 11th screaming, why don't you just go back to your country at four Asian women and then attacking the group with pepper spray while wearing a blue fuchsia dress. She was indicted on charges of assault as a hate crime and has been locked up on Rikers Island since her arrest and able to post her $20,000 bail. She was ordered held on after being deemed a flight risk due to her out of residency. Added on charges of assault as a hate crime and was being locked up on Rikers Island since her arrest. Unable to post the 20K bail, she was ordered to be held on after being deemed a flight risk due to her out of state residency. Under her new bail package, Barker will be placed under the supervision of the Women's Project, which is described as a community whose collective work serves as an alternative to pretrial detention and incarceration. She will also be under strict electronic monitoring. Its attacker responded yes ma'am in court when asked by the judge if she understood the deal. It is not clear by early Wednesday evening if Barker had already been released from Rikers. Her legal aid attorney declined to comment following the hearing. One of Barker's alleged victims recounted the heroin encounter shortly after it took place. Quote, I thought it would be safe to be in the middle of Chelsea in the middle of the day with so many people around. But it's not safe going out in the city as an Asian person. It's scary in New York. Nicole, a photographic designer, stated that the three female friends and another who was 24 and two who were 25 were in Manhattan Meat Packaging District when the unhitched suspect encountered the group and claimed, you're harassing me. Barker then allegedly escalated the encounter and pepper sprayed the woman. Barker then allegedly escalated the encounter and pepper sprayed the woman. Nicole stated, she turned to an Asian bystander who we did not know and stated, take yourself back to where you all came from. A spokesperson for the DA's office stated that, quote, through the woman's project, she received supportive housing so that her location will be known. Regular check ins and accompaniment to each appearance in court to ensure her return to court. Barker has pled not guilty to the charges. Her next court date is set for October 27th. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Ain't this one of y'all guys? Ain't this one of the ones that y'all worship oh so much? When your deities, one of many, whom that you want to be just like shoulder to shoulder, you want to be a part of the exact same bloodline, have the exact same hair, exact same complexion, all the exact same height. Is isn't this one of your gods? I I, I could have sworn we went through this in Thor Ragnarok, didn't didn't we? Didn't we go through this? I'm just saying. I, I'm just I'm just wondering. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But you know, like I said, I find it highly amazing that you know this legislation is directly out there and it's supposed to stop these things from happening but the thing that is taking place is that overnight that they decided to showcase that oh you know it's just specifically only black people doing this it's only black people that's been you know solely doing this since the history of you know asian americans being here it's only black people that's been doing this when realistically that's false that is a thousand percent false and it is impossible so what you are now seeing is the fact that the true villains <laughs> are now being showcased because you know pretty much black people are preoccupied with being blamed for the pandemic and spreading that and then you know black people are being blamed for monkeypox so you know we're, we're pretty much preoccupied with you know a lot of things we're, we're trying to just you know stay out of sight so because we are in a sense not really in sight um now you have the actual villains you know the the wolves in sheep's clothing rolling up and they're getting spotted they're they're very much getting spotted because now since you can't look at the quote-unquote black sheep you have to look at the real villain the the real wolf that is amongst you and has been there the whole exact time right the exact same god that you believe in is the exact same one doing the utmost crimes to you 
doing untold things to you, sacrificing you, including eating you and your kids. But yet here you are not doing anything about it. Yet here you are hoping and wishing that the exact same people who have been doing these things to you will actually somehow, some way, if you keep praying and wishing and getting on your knees, that they're going to stop doing these things to you. When realistically, that's not how that works. That's not how that works at all you know it but you just decide to look the other way because that's what you guys normally do our communities are not reporting these incidences we don't want to cause more trouble more attention to our community you guys quote unquote want to not cause more attention to your community because you're in fear because you're afraid that if you decide to report these things that they're just going to keep happening is that magically if you don't talk about it they just don't exist and they'll just magically stop happening but let's see here so we really haven't been talking about it it's still been happening you got legislation out here um that is supposed to stop this but yet it's still happening you've had a whole bunch of people on social media basically amp up and say stop the asian hate but yet this is still happening so i'm just trying to figure out when is it going to stop existing when is it going to actually stop happening and when is it going to magically stop being the fault of quote unquote the black community because as i can clearly see with my own four eyes here <laughs> it don't look black to me